Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn how do we solve a hacker rank problem titled pangram. A pangram is basically a string which contains every alphabet of the English language at least once. Right? Okay. Now what this problem says is, given a string, you need to verify if it is a pangram or not. Clear? Okay. That is the task. And it also says that you can ignore the case, meaning you can come across some alphabets which is in upper case or some in lower case, right? But every key of the keyboard from A to Z has to be present at least once. In case if it is a pangram, we need to print a string called as pangram. In case if it is not a pangram, we have to print a string called as not a pangram. And it also says that the string input string can be of the length from 0 to 10 power 3, meaning S value, the length of the string could be anything up to 10 power 3. It will only contain alphabets A to Z, which is lower case or in upper case, or it will contain a space. Now, let us take some examples of pangram and try to see how we can solve this particular problem. One example of pangram is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is a very commonly used example whenever we talk about pangrams. Now, this sentence contains all the alphabets at least once. Like we do have A here, lazy, then B in the brown, C in the quick. This way, if you look at it, it will contain every alphabet from A to Z at least once. Yes. Some of the alphabets have more than one occurrence. Like for example, if you consider O, O is present in brown, O is also present in fox, O is also present in over, O is also present in dog. Right? From this what we should understand is, it is not that every alphabet should occur only once. It says that every alphabet should at least occur once. Let us take one more example of pangram says we promptly judge antique ivory buckles for the next price. This is another example of pangram which is actually given in the hacker rank as a sample input. Now let us see how do we solve this particular problem. One way to solve this particular problem is through frequency array. Now we basically consider an array of 26 alphabets because the English language prep, okay, has 26 alphabets and pangram also says that only the alphabets should have at least one occurrence, not necessarily non-alphabets, right? Okay. Now, every time an uh, alphabet occurs, we increment the frequency count of that particular alphabet. Now, at the end of it, if all the entries are non-zero, means that everything was occurred at least once. But if you still have something zero, it means that the corresponding character was not occurred even once, right? Okay. Now, when you talk about the uh, frequency table of 26, the indexing of it will be anything between 0 to 25. But the ASCII value of the alphabets is from 65 to 90 if you are considering uppercase or 97 to 122 if you are considering lowercase. Now, how do I convert anything from 97 to 122 to 0 to 25? Like for example, you have lowercase a who has the corresponding value 97, but I should store this information in the index value 0. Same way b which has an ASCII value of 98 should be stored in index value 1, right? So, given 97 you should get 0, given 98 you should get 1. Given 99, you should get 2. In order to perform this, we just require a simple subtraction. Whatever the ASCII value of that alphabet, minus 97 to get the index. Clear? Remember, in case if you are considering for upper case, then it should be minus 65 because it is from 65 to 90. Clear? Okay. Now, let us take the example of saying what you had considered before. You start with the first character T, right? You get the ASCII value minus 97, you get the corresponding index and then you update. Here you can just observe, earlier it was 0, now you have updated to 1. 
same way we go to the next character h and then we update okay the value out here right this way you keep scanning the entire string and at the end of it this is what the frequency table looks like right as i said the character o was present four times the character e was present three times okay some of the characters were present two times but if you can just observe sorry, one uh, if you just observe every entry in this is a non zero value here we don't have any zero values here clear right then this is a pan gram if you had even one entry which is a zero value then it is a not a pan gram clear now let's jump into the program i have taken the input string later on if you want you can just read the string from the user with the help of fget s but entering that uh, such large string will be time consuming for that purpose i have hard coded the inputs i have taken a frequency array of 26 and i have set every element to 0 remember whenever an array is partially initialized the remaining elements will be set to now you need to scan all the alphabets one by one starting from 0 and we know that uh, the last character will be null character right so till you encounter a null character in the string you keep scanning the alphabets one by one and once you get the alphabets like for example t h e then what we should do it is we have to go to the corresponding index table right before that we have to generate the corresponding index from the ascii values okay and also please observe here the character is uppercase t okay and even the input statement was clearly saying that it can contain uppercase or it can contain lowercase so what i'll try to do it is whatever the character what i get right i'll just convert it to a lowercase to lower str of i okay if it is lowercase it will be written as lowercase in case if you get uh, uppercase then i'll convert to a lowercase right and this to be done only in case if it is non space if str of i not equal to space character okay for space we should not neglect it we should not store space there and if you try to place a space there then it will be a big problem because the space has the ascii value of 32 32 minus 97 will be some negative value right so we convert to an up lower case then we need to generate the index value okay so I will try to generate the index value will be the character remember this okay expression automatically gives me the ascii value minus I can either say 97 which is an integer or I can say character a right so whatever the character we are given minus 97 or the corresponding character here this will give me the index once I get the index I will go to the frequency array for the corresponding index you can just update the index by one remember if you want to just store true and false it's perfectly valid okay because uh, for us it's only like is the uh, entry present or not so if you want to just store true and false in the frequency array it's perfectly allowed no issues fine that's it now once we complete this i need to check out do we have any zeros in this if you have any zeros it's not a pangram if we do not have any zeros if all the entries in this is one then it is a pan right so we'll just again run how many times do i need to run here 26 okay because that is the size of the frequency array now if the entry is zero this is not a program so i'll just set a flag here int flag equal to let's say one here one is equivalent to your true then i'll just write flag equal to false or yeah, you can also use false and uh, true but only thing is you have to include the uh, header file std bool dot h if you are working in p i'll just 
right? Because true and false makes more sense when compared to 1 and 0. Okay. Now, once I run this, I'll just check out. Remember, even if one entry is 0, the flag will be set to false. Otherwise, the flag will be set to 1 only. If flag equal to equal to true, then I want to print pangram. Otherwise, I want to print not pen. Right? Yeah, let me try to run this button. See, pangram dot. Okay. Uh, if you are using two lower, you need to include c type dot h. Okay, it's a warning in uh, C, but we have to take the warning serious. So, pangram. Let me try to remove uh, some alphabet. Like for example, G is only present once, right? So, I'd like to just remove G, and then. Not a pangram, simple, 